Today I have my March Lollipop Box Club box to unbox for you guys. For the February box I did an unboxing over on my blog rather than on my YouTube. So if you want to go and have a look at that I'll leave it linked below. It was the pizza and popcorn party themed box so there's lots of pizza and popcorn. If you're new to the Lollipop box it's much more of a crafty subscription box rather than a stationary subscription box. As always I'll leave some more information and links to the website below so if you are interested you can check it out there. But yeah, I'm just going to get on with it and open it up. So like always, when you open it up, you have the info sheet stuck on the lid and then you have a little tag which says enjoy your happy mail and then obviously it's got my name on it but yours will have your name on it. Um, Lisa does personalise these which I always think is very impressive especially with how many she has to do. And then we have a load of confetti which I try to keep and reuse. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. First of all there is a pen and this one is, is it a pen? Yeah, it's a pen, not a pencil. It's a blue biro pen and it's turquoise with pink stripes. And then at the top, there is a little crown. We have a clear stamp and on it, it says, if friends were flowers, I'd pick you. Take it out so you can see. I love the style of font that's used on this. It's almost like hand lettering. This would be a good one to put on tags if you're like sending a present to a friend or something. We then have the DIY. We have a little charm with a flower on and some fabric and it says I hope you enjoy this pretty fabric please visit the blog and YouTube channel to see how it's been used to make a springtime traveler's notebook and other projects too so that's pretty cool definitely interested to see how this can be made into a traveler's notebook and then obviously that's a little charm you can put on the finished traveler's notebook next we have a paper clip which has a little flower on it and this is the same sort of style as the other paper clips that were in previous boxes so it's made of felt and then and it's been given a little face which is really sweet this is this month's mystery gift and what have we got oh it's a ring but i think it's broken so yeah it's meant to be a ring with a little flower on but the flowers come off so might be able to fix that there's then this paper bag with a peg on and inside what have we got Ooh. So in here we have various bits and pieces that you can use in different crafts. So we have some little flowers and I'm assuming these are meant to be cherry blossoms because that's the theme of the box. There's then some flower tags, there's some little phrases, so this one says today is a good day, best friends, bloom and grow, be happy. And then we have some little checklists, there's a spring goals checklist and then there's a little postcard which has got a little bit bent and on it it says hey it's spring and then it's blank on the back. We have a lollipop which is obviously a staple piece for the lollipop box. There's then a little flower which I think has been either knitted or crocheted and then there's a little note which says handmade crochet blossom, a little extra gift for you to say thank you for subscribing. Use this pretty blossom as a bracelet or a brooch, attach it to a key ring, tie it to a bag or a purse, use it as a crafty embellishment, tie it to the top of a large paper clip and use it as a planner clip or attach it to your traveller's notebooks. It can be used in so many ways. Enjoy. So that's really sweet. That's something a bit extra extra in this box. I'll definitely have to find somewhere to put that. There's then this little bag and in here there is some flower die cuts, some twine which is green and pink and then some teeny tiny brads which are pink and a kind of brassy colour. We then have two la -di da washi tapes and these ones are really really pretty. So you have this one which is kind of like a lace pattern and that's just gold foiled and then you have this one which has different foiled patterns and different colours on it. I love tapes like this which has chunks of different pattern on one tape. So yeah, really looking forward to using that one. And then this one is just kind of a generic, easy to use on anything tape. Oh, there's then another DIY. So this is an origami DIY. And this says, DIY heart pocket. I hope you like your authentic origami papers sent over from Japan. Please visit our blog for a fun tutorial. Use this heart pocket as gift wrapping, as a little envelope, or clip it to your planner. It's so cute. So yeah, that is really nice. These papers are beautiful. So yeah, I'm going to have to have a nosy at the blog for that. There's then some stickers from little rainbow moon and these have been designed for the box so there's a few which are kind of planner related and then there's some which just have quotes on we then have some six by six cardstock so there is i think there's five 
yeah there's five different patterns which are double sided this is something a bit different we've not had this before this is some writing paper and envelopes so the envelopes are pink and they've just been stamped with happy mail and then the paper just says be cheerful at the top and then the last things in here are the printables so these are the things that you can get for free if you're a subscriber so we have these which can be printed off as embellishments and stuff there's a planner sheet which you can print off for an a5 planner this one is obviously a monthly planner and then this this is something a bit different hold on ah come here so this is a kind of different style of planner page i don't know if this is a printable or if this is like one-off sheet but it has a section for i really should do let's make this happen and then let's put this off for another day there's also today my favorite person is and then today was awesome because so this was everything that came in the march lollipop box club box as always with these videos if you want to subscribe i will leave a link below to where you can do so the box itself costs 15 pounds plus pmp to subscribe or you can buy one-off boxes for 17 pounds plus pmp so if you missed out on any other the boxes you can still buy some of them on the website if you do have any questions then be sure to let me know below and i will do my best to get back to you i hope you enjoyed seeing what was in this month's box thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video